The great Sakudu is a large antelope found in Kenya, known as Tandala Mkubwa in Kiswahili. The kudu is a rare sight and only found in isolated pockets of the dry, rocky, semi-desert habitats to the north of the equator. People around here call Sarame. Sarame is a, a, a pig antelope with uh, her own and uh, uh, dust strips. Actually, people live around this place are proud of that uh, animal because it is actually the animal that can only be found within this region. History has it that in the late 19th century, the kudus were far more common before the great rinder pest epidemic that swept through Africa, wiping out all but a few small populations. Nevertheless, it has been actually the main uh, attraction in terms of wildlife. The kudus were a lot of people. But after that, they were able to eat as a man. Because they were a man, and they were able to eat as a man. Because walikuwa anatumia kwa kwa kwenda pita sababu wana anapika alabu wana wanaelewa kuna pita wanapika na ku yani mobilization yani ku kusanyana na ingine ilikuwa anafanya kama wakati wanaenda sherehe fulani kwa maombi kwa mamilima the greater kudu may be distinguished from similar species the lesser kudu by the presence of a throat curls we spotted a huge number of the greater kudu at the Lake Bugoria National Park and Reserve in Baringo County. Although somewhat clumsy when on the move, the greater kudu is capable of clearing well over two meters when jumping. The elegant creature is light gray in color with broad ears and a long neck. An adult measures up to five meters an adult measures up to five feet with the male weighing up to 357 kilograms. The males usually have horns and are both divergent and spiraling. The sides of the body are marked by six to ten vertical white stripes with a white chevron between the eyes. When they are breeding, they like living around the uh, homestead of, home of the people because they are shy. When they are young, the calves are mature is when now they, they come back to the park. Iyo kuna iyo iyo mlima naitwa Iro wanakuja kusalia huko kitoka Lake anakuja huko. So tukapuza hiyo watu. Baka kwa wajaja na tukaona saa hii imepiga hata 200. The kudus live in small herds of up to 4 or 5 females with their young ones but this often split up during the rainy season. The males are usually solitary, though occasionally they band together into small herds. The kudus are mainly browsers and rarely eat grasses. However, they would eat many types of leaves that would be poisonous to other animals. They graze in the afternoon and this would be the great moment for photographers. The kudus possess a certain mysterious charm they are always aware of what is happening around them and their movements seem carefully planned. Uh, we have a group which, which are specialized on seeing the, the, the kudu. And the, 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 the right time to see the kudu actually is in the morning or in, in the evening. We are proud of the animal and uh, it is a fact that the animal is only found in Baringo and South Africa. Irene Nchuma Odim, magical sense in the county of Baringo.